And since we're right here, I might as well. Now, there's one thing that I realized. Well, now, today, I realized. Um, last night, you figured out that your gear score can be filtered in your uh, menu. But the one thing that it doesn't really do well, unless if you have that enabled, like, I wouldn't know the difference between this thing being a 212 gear score and this one being a 100. There's no indication of which one's higher other than turning on that gear score or scrolling over it. Um, so that was something that we figured out later on uh, last night. But once you do turn on the filter by gear score, then you start everything that goes into your inventory, you see the highest item. The other kind of cool thing about it is over here, you have your equipment status depending on which equipment load you have like light normal heavy and encumbered uh it depends on what type of dodge you do so with light i think you do a roll like you roll forward or back with normal you do like a sidestep and then with heavy you kind of like do like a quick step but you're more likely to take damage because now you you have you have a lot heavier armor basically something simple but still pretty cool to have i would say very basic though um i'm just gonna keep getting these kills because honestly food is good and there was i remember yesterday there was one thing that i would like to have um for like level or um what was it uh cooking level nine I needed character could be a huntsman hunting and selling meat also sell sword for hire so yeah um, that would be really cool too the one thing with uh, selling or trading is as of right now there is no NPC that you can sell items to as of right now it is only like an auction house style market um you can only trade to other people put things up on the market for sale which is kind of cool but sometimes if it's like an item you know not many people are gonna buy you'd rather just throw it up on the market or just sell it to an npc you know but maybe it'll add something else uh maybe there's something where you can set it where okay if it doesn't sell then have an NPC take it instead. Not 100% sure, but we'll see. So we need to find uh, three crates here. Now this sword's pretty good. I remember I wasn't doing much damage yesterday with the sword, but uh, it seems like we're doing some decent damage. Reverse stab. Take that. So this is the area where I found those cultist robes at one point. Okay. Be a cell sword for other players. Yeah, I mean, that is something that you could do. Uh, if you're crafting swords, like you go out and make, you can literally mine everything. You can get gear. Uh, you can craft it and then sell it to other players. That's 100% an option. You can also do that kind of stuff in ESO too. I remember uh, orcs, they have a trait um, a very small trait, but they have a trait that you can do for, uh, making, oh, we just got a life staff finally, which is nice. Um, orcs have the option of crafting food faster or so something like that. So I remember before I got off of ESO, I was, I was leveling in, uh, an orc that I was going to make a, a chef basically. That's all he was going to do is make food for other characters. The 
This guy has the cultist robes that I want to find. He found this, but changes your equipment load to normal. I'm gonna equip the this guy. And start to work on this now. So this is the life staff. And I think we got everything here. There might be still like another supply crate though. Maybe one or two. Yeah, I see at least one. There it is. All right, now I'm gonna respec and put all my stuff into intelligence and that. Because now we have a staff that we can use. And hopefully we'll get some cultist robes or something like that nearby. And look at that. We just got a fire staff too, which is pretty cool. That works out perfectly. I got the fire staff uh, a lot earlier than I did yesterday. So let me see. <laughs> the fire staff is up by one point. The cool thing is I could, oh geez. I could swap out, uh, oh geez, again. Come on. There it is. Uh-oh. Nope, I'm running from this one. One sec. <laughs> there it is. Cave main. <laughs> you could. I mean, it's a um, should make ESO uh, videos where I miss mess with people like that or miss with people like that the cool thing about this game as far as like traversal is uh, when you have auto run on it'll automatically your character will automatically vault up things so there's no like you you won't get stuck on something really it'll just automatically climb over it or attempt to I believe we got an upgrade for this staff too. Um, I might actually. Hmm. Life staff or fire staff? Fire. Okay. I'll switch. I'll have that available if we need it though. Oh, uh, you know, shoot. You know what I should have did? That's fine. There it is. Also, I wanted to unequip the, uh, Oops, where to go? Shield. 
that's not really required. Yo, what's going on, he's How you doing, man? How's this so far? Uh, I'm really enjoying it so far. Uh, I think it's a lot of fun, like combat wise and all that good stuff. Uh, there's a lot of different skills and abilities and other neat things you can do too. Uh, let me view contents. Okay, I'm gonna keep what I have. I might just drop that, but I, re I really like it so far. Um, I ended up getting just a, a code for this game yesterday. Um, I was watching Lyric play and he dropped a bunch of codes. So I actually wasn't, I didn't pre-order the game or anything, but from everything I've seen so far, I really like it. For this being a beta and still them having an, an additional year to work on the game, I'm actually really impressed with it. Um, the combat is completely, no, it's more action focus. It's completely, uh, so when you're using your weapons, you have to actually aim at the target. There's no lock on, there's no anything at all. Um, so like I'll show you right here, just even this boar. So if I want to attack this boar, if I fire over there, my fireball is going over there. But if I fire towards the bull boar, then it's going to hit it. Same thing with swords, depending on where you're aiming is depending on where your sword is swinging. There's no type of uh, auto lock or anything like that. Like you have to actually aim at the target and successfully hit it. Apparently, now I don't know how much of it actually works, but when it comes to like melee weapons, apparently the direction and the force that you're using to hit the target also increases or decreases the amount of attack that you do so if you're swinging down from the top right and coming down to the bottom left that might do more damage if you hit them like in the neck or something like that than like a basic like swipe from the right to the left would um same thing with swiping back all of that stuff apparently has different uh damage that it can do as well. Are there crit boxes on enemy hit boxes or is it all crit based on crit stat? I think I'm pretty sure that uh, it's just crit based on your, your crit stat. I could be wrong, but I think that's what it seems like it would be. Um, depends though. Also equipment and things like that all completely drop uh, different differently uh, i'm gonna change to this so like in my i last night i played this game for a few hours with a friend and me and him had completely different equipment dropped it took me a while until i finally got a fire staff but for him he found one pretty early on and he was using that for a majority of the time but meanwhile about halfway through i was able to find a life staff which is your like life stealer and healer abilities. So, uh, <laughs> playing a brand new one today and you're playing one from 1995. <laughs> nice. Um, but yeah, gonna go watch some, uh, Game of Thrones. All right, Dev, I appreciate you stopping by, man. It's always fun. Um, so enjoy and I'll talk to you soon. But we're coming up on the city right now as well. So we'll see how populated it is right now. Yeah, so far, I, I really like it. Basically, everything that you see can be gathered or cut down. Like these giant trees, you can cut them down. All the plants that you see, you can gather. Like, not even just like the world looks, but also how the holy crap, 25% taxing. What? Oh yeah, there's taxes for different uh, areas. 
and uh, other stuff like that. Um, <laughs> holy crap. The one I was at last night was like 0.3% tax. But apparently this area is like 25%. That's insane. Also, your standing for each area increases and then you can uh, level it up in that area. So, like, as I'm in a first light area, I can get increased gathering speed or I can get uh, yeah, like, decreased the I'm trading tax. I guess I can do... I forgot company's name, man. Uh... Or we can increase our standing. So we'll do that. <laughs> there is proximity chat as well. And I do have an odd right now. We got but... Okay. Okay. And they already got a hater being used. I don't know if you can see who's talking. Hater being used? Yo, yo, yo. What's it do? It's, it's a gate. Oh, what's up, bro? I'm batching right now. <laughs> No, I'm it's, uh, it. the game. So, let me put up a few uh, things for right. sale here, actually. Oh, yeah. We'll see if it actually sells at yeah, any I'm point purple. today. Yeah, I'm the... yeah. yeah, I mean, I just, I just, I just did that. Now try, try. Actually, this level, this game fun, bro. Well, we Nothing there. Even the proximity yeah. chat's pretty... Yeah. <laughs> I heard uh it, it it works out pretty good. Like I can hear it's the dude in front of me. My company. Wait, where? Which one is it? That's dope. We need to do that later. It's either powing or clemency. Um figuring out kind of shit on I don't know why he's echoing though. It's weird. <laughs> I'll do more focus for that mana regeneration. Uh, so the other cool thing is there's not a specific, uh, like class or yeah, there's not a specific class in a way. It's basically whichever, um, these guys are funny. Uh, Basically, whichever weapon you use, the, that's the weapon that you level up the most. And then you get skills and attributes for the, for that weapon. Uh, which is pretty cool as well. I'm going to throw in... So, some of this stuff... I salvage this. I'm not going to wear that. Whip that. Nice. There's that. Now you need to go talk to that trader dude again. And we increased their standing. So now we can upgrade that again. And I'll take that XP gain. Gladly. Ouch. Now the one thing that kind of sucks is I don't have the cultist robe that I had yesterday. I really like that kind of stuff. But I don't know where it went. Rotti waved. Wait, where? And there's that. Yeah, they. so the cool thing with running is you automatically vault over things. Um, so right now, it's on auto run. I'm not doing anything at all. It's on auto run, other than, and now it's just going to automatically vault over stuff. 
So if you bump into things, it automatically does it for you. It, it's pretty cool in that aspect. Um, we need to go gather wood from bushes or trees and then also do uh, find some boulders. So start cutting some stuff down. Look at him go. Can you set a destination and just have it run on autopilot? Uh, I don't think you can do that. I wish you could. I wish a lot more games. I know in Black Desert you can do that, and it's actually very useful and helpful. I think that's so cool, um, especially when you're just trying to get from one place to another. But I don't think you can in this game. I wish more games would implement something like that, though. <laughs> we only need two more. Uh, I'll find a bush to grab that from. Yeah, it only takes a second for the bush. There it goes. All right, so now we need to find a boulder, which... Um, so there's a very cool detail to the map. Um, if you look at it from afar, it just looks like a map, right? But if you look at it up close, using the resource locations, right here it says impassable area, so there's nothing. But we're looking for wood, and I've already found wood in the past. So if you find a dark green area that has trees, it's considered to have trees, hemp, and herbs. So the coloring of the map depends on uh what materials that they'll have too so i'm looking for what we need now is stone from boulders so it should look like kind of like it has cracks in the road i think this technically will have boulders or even down here yeah, what's going on, Living Legend? How you doing, man? Yeah, so I see some boulders right there. Even right here, too. I wonder how long it takes for trees to spawn. I think majority of things spawn fairly quickly. Um, it seems like most things do, at least. Here's somebody's campfire. It's like Minecraft. <laughs> Good looking forward to a game, uh, playing a game in the episode. One of the game releases tomorrow. What, uh, what game is that? Oh, tell me. Oh yeah, yeah that drops episode one drops tomorrow i love those games but i they, i don't know i go back and forth on the episodic for those um i still have yet to play life is strange too look at somebody knocked down that tree <laughs> and i think yeah and then it just despawns um but yeah, I still have yet to play Life is Strange 2 and uh, even Before the Storm. I love those games, but I just hate waiting for the, all the episodes to drop. I don't like... I like playing all of them in succession rather than episode 1, then 2, then 3. Because I always forget about it. Oh, it's on Xbox Game Pass? Really? Is it on Xbox Game Pass for PC? Oh yeah, technically I think it is. Is it a first? Is it a first-party game this time around? Soon as it was announced, I, I thought on uh, Backstreet Boys it should be. I think. Nice. Might have to check that out then. Maybe. I don't know. I still like waiting until all the episodes drop, but still. All right. So we need to craft some timber, craft some stone block, and craft some coarse leather. 
This game takes you for the, through the full tutorial of crafting, <laughs> which is okay. Uh, the nice thing is a lot of this stuff. I mean, if you wanted to follow through the tutorial, then you could. If you didn't want to, then you could just honestly start leveling things up from step one without following it, which is neat. All right, so wood shop right here. How many do we need? 20. Twenty. Then stone. Uh, the stone cutter. No, I don't think it's this one. And leather at the tanner. I think the stone is down here. That is so smart of them to put a storage shed right here. That's genius. Stone block. Episode two to three releases in September, I think. Let me check. That's not too bad then. Usually, I hate it when they do it like it takes months. That's like putting out like a 40 minute like episode on TV and then being like, okay, episode three comes out in five months. Like, bro, uh, but I, I get it. I do get it. It's just confirmed console and PC. Tell me why tomorrow. Okay, nice. That's pretty cool. Oops. Don't Nod is now an Xbox game studio. Okay, nice. That's what I thought, because I remember they showed Tell Me Why at a lot of the uh, conferences and stuff. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to upgrade my maximum health. All right, now you have your regular this stuff. Whoa. Oh. It should take us over there sometime soon. Can you accept all of them? Oh, you can. Okay. Horse leather. That That's from the tannery, right? Yeah. I still don't want their console true. <laughs> well, I don't need it, basically. Episode 2, September 3rd, and episode 3, September 10th. Okay, that's not bad at all, then. That's actually a, uh, a good release. I would play it September 10th or later for myself. What happened to my main objective? Oh. Talk to Overseer Oaks. Get all three episodes on Game Pass. That's lit. <laughs> That's awesome. I will most definitely check that game out at some point then. Talk to Artificer Kim. Mr. Kim.
Okay. Open the heavy satchel on your inventory. Craft iron at the smelter. Do all of them. Why not? Mr. Kim, there you go. Talk to survivalist. Uh, riches. I think he's up here. Got a ring slot. Do we have a ring though? Alright, so we have about a few things here. Uh, before we go out to Howling Falls, I'm going to just check a few things here. And that works out perfectly because, yep, there's the uh, explore and find over there too. Okay, so let me open up this. We got some weapons and some armor. And then we got a better life staff. I think I'm going to go back and forth between the life staff and the, the other one. Let's see, we got to... A hat here. Better elements. And better element. armor minor shirt oh how much money do we have horse leather explorer do light armor No cultist robes. Oh man. Nobody ever has them. Could pick up this though. Yeah. Eighteen gold or gold fee. Amulets. Price 200? Oh my god. <laughs> that noise you just heard? That's somebody fast traveling. Alright, there we go. Nice. All right, that's actually kind of cool. What? Where did I get this mask? <laughs> I don't even know where I got that. I still miss my cultist robes, but hey, that's a that's a start. 
Um, actually kind of neat. Botanist luck too. Okay. Uh, before we head over there, I'm going to run to the bathroom real quick and then uh, we'll continue with this here. So 